Hello and Namaste. I'm Sajan Silwal from Southeast Missouri State University. Uh, I'm working here as an assistant professor since 2017. Uh, this past year, due to the COVID, our lectures and lab went online and we had to come up with new ideas to cover up lab uh, virtually with no knowledge of coding. This virtual lab uh, creation has been tough. So I went to the simple PowerPoint to do uh, animations and by the help of simple PowerPoint animation, I was able to create some uh, three simulations, uh, in fact, which I have already discussed in, in the written essay, which is attached with the video. Uh, today, I'm going to demonstrate in very short time one of the simulations that I have created uh, with uh, animations. Uh, so the simulation is called What's My Compound? Um, the student will identify the compound um, by doing the various chemical tests. So um, uh, this uh, simulation will tell them to do the pre-lab questionnaire if they have not done so before. So they can go to the link and then do the pre-lab questionnaire. And then after that, uh, they have to uh, they have to print out the the hands out that has been provided and then uh, with the choosing their favorite color that favorite color would allow them to choose a different a different unknown compound let's say if their favorite color is red then they would go to red and they will uh, get a one set of unknown compound if they choose the wrong color then they here here they can click to go back to the initial slide and choose a different color so they can go to various unknown compounds so let's say they went to blue and then they they selected blue and uh, the first unknown compound will show up um, so and they do various chemical changes i'll just show some of the tests uh, they they have cool animations uh, in my test so the first is they will note down the sample number once they note down the sample number now they will do, do test for acidic uh, compound a litmus paper test and then um, it will talk a little bit about the litmus paper test once they read about the litmus paper test they would actually perform the litmus paper test by dropping a drop of your unknown so of their unknown solution to the blue litmus and then whether it blue changed to red or not yeah it changed to red so it is acid they will also perform the cross test with uh, the red litmus paper and it does not change color so they will say that okay the compound is acidic and they will um, do various uh, tests and in the beginning of each test uh, it will show them how to uh, what are the implications of those tests? Um, the next test uh, we perform this carbonyl group test. Once they add the equal amount of the compound as well as 2,4-dinitrophenyl hydrazine, they have to um, shake the tube. So they have to cover up um, the test tube with the cork, and then once they cover up, they would shake the test tube and with the mouse click they would say that that was a cool animation though since it has to be done step by step um, it took a lot of time to create those type of animations um, in in those tests another test they performed um, is a carboxylic acid group test because the blue litmus paper had turned to red so they would do the carboxylic acid test um, uh, in that they would add their compound and then the solid sodium bicarbonate once the solid sodium bicarbonate is added then effervescence would shown up so the, there was a cool animation with the bubbles in the effervescence and it took each bubble to uh, form and it uh, the bubble would move up and i had to create each bubble and then they moved up so the other was a flame test and they do the flame test they burn it in a flame and then cool yes it would pop up once they do all the animations uh, the test and result, result discussion place would be there they would given these um, nine compound out of these nine compound they, would, they have to correctly identify their own compound on the basis of um, the positive test they obtained and then that would be a end of simulation and they would click there to uh, do the end of simulation so this is one of the simulation that i performed i hope you like the simulation you would vote for me for the for this award thank you have a great day